The Galaxy Note 10 Plus is Samsung's newest Note, despite having been released in August of last year. Since then, we've had an update to the Galaxy S line in the form of the Galaxy S20 series. Right now, the Galaxy S20 Plus and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus both cost 999 great British pounds, both in their 5G flavors, which begs the question, which one should you buy? As with everything, it's a little more nuanced than just looking at the performance specifications, as a lot of the decision is gonna come down to personal preference. These two phones are definitely designed for two different types of smartphone user. The designs on paper aren't too dissimilar, both sport glass sandwiches, a corner situated camera bump, and central punch holes. Even the physical dimensions are super similar. It's only when you get the two in hand that you kind of realize the differences between the two physically. For instance, the Galaxy S20 Plus has these widely rounded corners to the flat display, whereas the Note 10 Plus is much more squared off with these sharper corners, but it has its signature Samsung curve to the left and the right sides of the display. In fact, those displays themselves are different. Take for instance, the Galaxy Note 10's 60 Hertz Quad HD Plus panel, and then compare it with the Galaxy S20 Plus Plus's 120 Hz Quad HD Plus panel. Now granted, you can't run Quad HD Plus and 120 Hz at the same time on the S20 Plus, but it gives you the option to run either one or the other, which is something that the Note 10 Plus just doesn't offer. It makes the phone feel a lot newer and a lot fresher and ultimately gives you more options when configuring it to the way you want. It's one of the two reasons you'd go out and buy the S20 Plus in the first place. The other one being the cameras. The S20 Plus features a much larger main 12 megapixel sensor than what's being found in the Note 10 Plus, and it doesn't stop there. The same goes for the larger 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor and the 64 megapixel 3x telephoto setup that you can find on the S20 Plus. Not to mention 8K 24p rear facing video and UHD 4K 60p front facing video. As a camera package, the S20 Plus features much more and newer tech, so for a mobile shutter bug, it's a no brainer. The newer phone also comes with a newer system on a chip. Now, in the Exynos part of the world, like here in the UK, you can expect a 15 to 20% increase in performance if benchmarks are to be believed. And in the Snapdragon part of the world, you can actually see that lead increase to 25 to 30%, which is rather substantial. Whether you'll notice this difference day to day is an entirely different matter. But going forward a couple of years, the newer chips are far more likely to hold up for longer. And that's something to consider if you upgrade your phone every three or more years. And talking of lasting longer, the Galaxy S20 Plus features a slightly bigger battery at 4500 mAh versus the 4300 mAh we see in the Note 10 Plus, but this is then kind of flip-flopped by the fact that the Note 10 Plus supports up to 45 watt charging as opposed to the up to 25 watts found on the S20 Plus. Now, if you're really going to toss it up like that, I would personally pick the Note 10 for faster charging as I think that's actually a bit more important these days. However, if you're going for more time without needing to top up, the S20 Plus is likely going to give you the win there. So far, it's looking like the S20 Plus is going to win, but there are a few other reasons to buy the Note 10, and not all of them are as obvious as you'd imagine. The first is something I personally like, and it's kind of subjective. I really like the more tightly rounded corners, the more squared off angles on the Note 10 Plus. The overly rounded corners are a bit much for me on the S20 Plus, I think they look friendlier, but they just look a bit cartoony compared to the more squared off look of typical Notes. But the biggest reason you'd still buy the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is its staple feature, the S Pen. Now, for a lot of people, you're going to glance over this, but for a lot of users as well, the S Pen is a significant feature that a lot of people can't live without, and I'm starting to understand why after using a couple of Note devices over the past couple of years. I've actually switched over my work phone to the Galaxy Note 8 purely because of that S Pen, and it's a really important feature to me now that I've used it, because signing documents is so easy. The fact that I don't have to go on to my computer and transfer files and stuff, uh, it's an absolute pain, but having it right on the phone is so easy and so pain free that I really do understand why people really like the S Pen. But aside from those two things, I'm struggling to find a reason to go out and buy the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It's more of a preference thing than ever with every piece of tech being so similar these days. 
If you're looking for the newest Samsung phone with the best specs, go out and buy a Samsung S20 series because they are technically on paper the best. If you want that S Pen, I would definitely go out and buy the Note 10 Plus. It's still an amazing smartphone and anyone who's had any first-hand experience with the device will tell you that. It's got a big, beautiful screen, it's got great cameras, great battery life, brilliant software, it's a great package, and it might not be the newest on paper, but otherwise it's a truly great phone. But if you want the best from both worlds, wait and see what Samsung does with the Galaxy Note 20. It's likely going to have high refresh rate display, it's likely going to have all of those new specs and features, and of course the signature S Pen. Just maybe don't hold out on the price. So that was our little verses of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and the S20 Plus. Let me know what you thought in the comments and also check out the article that I'm going to have linked down there as well. Whilst you're down there, please do like and subscribe to never miss a video like this one from us Android Authority. I've been Ryan Thomas and I'll see you later. Peace.